Greetings and salutations to all you folks out there. So, got something a little different for you. You can see there's Call of Duty playing in the background. I do play this occasionally. I talked last time I did this about having a guilty pleasure in watching conspiracy theory documentaries. Well, another one of my guilty pleasures is that I actually do play a little bit of Call of Duty. And you know, for all the hate it receives, it actually is a decent game. I enjoy playing it. It's fun to play with friends, good to play online. You can endure it for an hour or two and then, you know, it just kind of slacks off into the abyss of nothingness and you start losing your soul and then decide that life isn't worth living like this so you shut the thing off and go cry yourself to sleep. But I had a little idea the other day and thought up a couple of these. I want to start a discussion and get your opinions on the following statement. Call of Duty is like a plate full of vegetables. And yes, you did just hear me say that. It's kind of a random thought that I had, but it is actually logical. I have a few of them already picked out. I'm going to list them off right here, and then I would love to hear you guys dissect mine in the comments and add your own. Here we go. Call of Duty is like spinach. When Popeye eats spinach, he becomes a behemoth. He gets his girl, he lands in the center of popularity, and when I eat spinach, none of that happens. I'm still alone in front of my plate with a sad little life. When you see people on TV in the ads playing Call of Duty, they're popular, they've all got girlfriends, they throw awesome parties. When I play Call of Duty, none of that stuff happens. I'm still alone in front of my TV with my sad little life. Call of Duty is like asparagus. Asparagus is actually pretty good. It has great taste, adds color to the plate, goes well with just about anything, and it's a pretty great side dish. In the end, though, all asparagus does is make your pee turn green and your body smell funny. Call of Duty, it's actually pretty good. It plays reasonably well, goes well with friends, adds some frantic fun to your life. However, all the Doritos and Mountain Dew that get rammed down your throat end up making your pee turn green and your body smell funny. Call of Duty is like lettuce. Lettuce, by itself, Completely tasteless, totally lacking in any nutritional value, but dang it makes a good place to put your bacon, dressing, cheese, and all of that other unhealthy stuff. Call of Duty, by itself, has zero emotional value, totally lacks any depth of real gameplay, and is basically useless. But dang it makes an awesome place to keep your killstreaks, jetpacks, and noob tubes. Call of Duty is like corn on the cob. Either one of these things is totally innocent on its own. But give either one of them to a 13 year old boy and suddenly it's a tool to violate you, your mother, and the gay lover that you never even knew you had. Alright, that's four of them. That was just the thought that I had when I came up with this idea. And yeah, it is completely random and totally off the wall, but that's just the way my brain works. So now it's up to you guys. Carry on the discussion below and I am going to be thrilled to hear what you guys come up with because there are some extreme lunatics in the community that follows these videos. That's pretty much what I have for today. Call of Duty, uh, I did a review on it a while back and it is actually a pretty decent game. I had some serious problems with it at first, but I will say that after I put a couple of hours into it, the whole problem that I had with uh, the award system annoying you every single kill that you got, it kind of slacks off and goes away. And I gotta say that I am never, ever going to enter Prestige because I do not want to go through the hell of listening to all of those awards going off again. I'm just going to keep playing it just like it is, and you know what? I'm going to have fun with it, so everybody else can think what they want to. I enjoy it. I would encourage everybody to get out and play a little bit of everything. There's a lot of stuff that gets a ton of hate, and it's like people stay away from it just because other people hate it. And the social norm is to hate the same things that everybody else hates. And I did touch on this in the last video, that like uh, people are peer driven creatures whatever everybody else around you is doing you're gonna want to do that too and that goes for music taste that goes for what video games you play everything like that and i just really wish that people would be their own people you don't 
have to do what everybody else is doing. And you know what? If you enjoy something, you should go do it and not worry about what everybody else is thinking of you. So, having said that, I am going to go play another round of Call of Duty. <laughs> and I'll come back and check in a while and see what you guys have said. Until then, I will see you guys later.